Hi, the walk community. How are you? I hope you guys are happy quarantining. My name is Sia Linda. I am now a senior in the college studying communications and minoring in psychology and Hispanic studies. And today I want to take you guys along with me in my get ready with me for my virtual internship. To start, I have already taken a shower and I have lotioned myself, my face, my body, you know, I'm black, African, what's up? So I have to stay hydrated. And for lotion, I use CVS Health Moisturizing Cream Dry Skin Therapy. It's great, I've been using it since I was a kid and I love it so much. And then for my lips, as you're Lips should be moisturized too. I just use Vaseline. I don't like chapstick. I think it actually dries my lips out more. But Vaseline makes sure, like, makes it that my lips are always nourished and not chapped. Oh, and I have these um, braids that I went to bed in last night. So I will take them out later so you guys can see the final product but yeah let's get started Thanks. first I'm going to actually start with origins ginseng oil-free energy boosting gel moisturizer I actually use this when I don't wear makeup and I don't wear a lot of makeup at all actually except when I'm going out and even sometimes if I'm going out and I don't feel like it I won't wear makeup either even with this whole quarantine, since this is my first time wearing makeup since like March 9th. So it's been a good run and I'm just doing this for you guys. I'm not going to wear makeup every day for working from home, but I might as well show you guys what I would do if I plan to wear makeup for one of my work days, meetings, etc. So I put the moisturizer on, feeling hydrated, and then I use Urban Decay's Self Adjusting Complexion Primer, and it has Adopting Pigments Soft Focus Effect and Shine Control. I have dry skin, so shine control kind of isn't the thing for me, but sometimes um, it can get oily, you know, when you're in the club and dancing, your makeup can get pretty oily. So I put that there and I wipe it in. You're going to see that my face is going to get chalky, but it doesn't stay like this. Um, it will blend into my makeup and everything will look perfect by the end. I use Max Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. And again, I said I have dry skin and this is an amazing foundation. I've used it since I was 14 when I first um, got into makeup and my aunt introduced me to Mac. And I honestly love MAC so much and I've been rocking with them for a very long time. Last summer I kind of cheated on my foundation and I tried out NARS and also Fenty. And although those were great foundations, I decided that MAC is where it's at and I went back home to my MAC family. I think my shade is NW45, it is, NW45, it is right here. So that's what I wear. So how are you guys? I hope all is truly well and you guys are staying sane. Um, the reason why I'm on here is I'm a culture writer for the walk, so maybe you've read some of my articles, um, including one about seeing blackface in a Barcelona Garnival. So I studied abroad in Barcelona this past semester. 
And when I saw that, I was like, wait a minute, this is not okay, excuse me? And was shook because I've never seen blackface in my entire life. I was like, what is happening? Um, so I wrote an article about that. And then I also wrote an article about the resurgence of the Kimye Taylor Swift beef. So one of the makeup artists at Sephora actually told me that I shouldn't be baking. Instead, I should dust my face with face powder by Airspun. So I got this from Amazon because my friend suggested it. And it's great. So instead of baking, which will dry my skin out, I'm just dusting my face. So for those of you who always baked but realize you have dry skin and baking isn't really for you, this is a technique that I highly recommend and I've been doing it since last summer. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows, which are looking janky AF, I know. It's quarantine, I cannot wait till, well I can wait, obviously I want everyone to be safe and things to be mitigated. This is serious, stay at home, do your part, social distance. However, when things do go back to normal, I cannot wait to get my eyebrows done because they are looking, Ooh, ciao. Do you see this? Do you see this? It's, I'm looking crazy. Oh Lord. Oh, and for my brows, I'm using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit, and it's really great. I used to use Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Pencil, um, but I like this way more, and it's pigmented and just easy to use. And really foolproof. If you're not really into makeup like I am, I highly suggest this product because you can't really screw up, you know? It's easy. So I'm using NARS blush in the color Love Joy. I like to smile when I put on blush. But I love this color. It's great highly recommend a nice and subtle and then for highlight again we're working from home so we're not going to go too crazy i am using max highlighter in the color glow with it i do not contour maybe i should honestly i can't be bothered <laughs> i like my i i like to be quick and finished and look presentable but not like I'm ready to walk down the runway I guess so yeah but if you contour kudos to you for eyeshadow because this is working from home I'm not gonna do a lot so I have MAC again I'm a MAC girl I know I'm kind of that's kind of like an older generational thing. I don't know if a lot of young people are still using MAC today, but I love MAC's I'm Into It, and it's kind of a darker shade that's more natural, and I'm just going to brush that over my eyes, create dimension in that aspect. I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And it's great. No lies were told on the packaging and the naming of this product. Do I look good or do I look crazy? Comment below and tell me what you guys think. Oh, and to add some depth to my eyes, I am going to take a little bit of black from my Too Faced white chocolate bar palette and add that to my under eye area just a teeny bit to create some depth. And this is also like a MAC lip liner in the color Vino, which means wine in Spanish. And I love how my struggle 
pigtail is just out there, but it's saying hello. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to overline my lips and Vino's on and then I'm going to take Max half and half, which is a nude I was telling you about. It's not my perfect nude, but it is a nice pink color and if you put it on the inside of your lip it creates like a ombre effect that looks really nice and then I am going to take Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray I only have one setting, again I'm not into makeup like that so I have one setting spray I know this is working from home not going out all night and partying but it does it gets the work done so that's what I will be using I shake it a bit shake 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 oh yeah and then dry it with my hands I know I'm looking very crazy but you guys got the deal okay as for my hair so I'm natural I've always been natural so I'm just putting it in a bun. I don't like using gel like that or doing my edges. Again, I like a simple look and I can't be bothered. Um, my sister really loves doing edges and she's like, can I do your edges? And I'm like, no. <laughs> but so my hair is done, it's in a bun. I'm currently in a robe and I am going to go get dressed and show you guys the finished look. This is my working from home outfit. So the blazer I got at Macy's, the blouse I got at Macy's, and the pants. And yeah, I hope you guys like the fit, it's simple. So I will be interning at a tech company this summer and I'm super excited doing marketing. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me for my virtual internship. Um, I hope you guys tune in to more videos that The Walk will be publishing and I also hope that you continue to follow the walk and read everything that the wonderful publication has to offer you. And don't forget to stay safe, wear a mask, and social distance. I pray, I'm a Christian, that we will all be able to gather together in safety again as soon as health permits. So good luck to you guys, for everyone who has an internship this summer, good luck. For those whose internships or um, opportunities to do research or travel abroad were canceled, I am so sorry. I pray that you will be able to develop other skills during this time, and I also wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Bye.